This week on American Crappie Trail, we look back at the highs. 1076, down and rude, you guys are Lake Darbone champions. And lows of the inaugural season of the American Crappie Trail. I'm freezing, trying to get our crappie in the boat, can't catch them. We just got to try to survive today, you know, catch some fish. How Mother Nature took center stage. We sat through some pretty fierce lightning. I touched the pole rats at one point and, and it sparked off my finger. And how the best crappie anglers in the nation came out on top. Hey, go, oh gosh, you got a monster. Oh, oh. American crappie trail, everybody. That is what we're out here looking for right there. Love it. Living the dream, folks. Living the dream. American Crappie Trail was yeah. designed by anglers for the anglers. Matt Morgan is a two-time national champion. His desire to attract the best crappie anglers in the nation resulted in the American Crappie Trail, a premier crappie tournament trail with the highest guaranteed payout in the industry. Grenada Lake, Mississippi, the land of the giants, was the site of the very first American Crappie Trail tournament. Sponsored by General Tire, Grenada Lake was tough on our teams. A cold front descended upon our anglers as the wind and rain battered the field for two days. Day one ended with only three teams bringing in a seven fish limit. But true to its name, Grenada produced some giant crappie. Here comes another Grenada Stringer. How was it today? World champion anglers Caps and Coleman brought seven fish to the scales that weighed 13.78 pounds to slip into second. And leading after day one is Bilbury and Hankins. Right up there. Tell me about it. Hold on, everybody. 14.97. We got a new leader right in first place. That's it. You got it, guys. Bilbrey and Hankins' 14.97 pound seven fish limit put them just over a pound in front of Caps and Coleman, setting up a battle going into the final day of the American Crappie Trail on Lake Grenada. Day two dawned colder, threatening more torrential rain and high winds, making it tough on our anglers. After eight hours battling with wind, rain, and dropping temps, the field of teams returned to weigh in in hopes of bringing home their part of the $54,000 purse. We've got boat number 48, the team of Terry Stewart and Cole Stewart. We've got seven fish string here, 9.15 to get you off the seat. And I tell you what, we got some heavy sack here, guys. Let's see what, get over here, let's take a look at this. Hold the phone, look out, 1439, you guys are the new leaders. Folks, let's get ready, let's get up here. Ron Bilbrey and Thomas Hankins. Guys, let's shade it out here. 10.36 pounds to take it. Who's going to be our next champion here at Grenada Lake? 14.53, Ron Bilbrey Thomas Hankins. You guys are our 2017 yes. Grenada champion. Over a two pound average adds up to victory for Ron Bilbrey and Thomas Hankins. Their 29.5 two day limit bettered the rest of the field by more than two pounds and took home their share of the $54,000 purse at the inaugural event of the American Crappie Trail. Traveling south to the state of Louisiana, stop number two was on Lake Darbone. You know, you have eight and a half hours to fish, but every second is important. The top teams in the country have descended upon Lake Darbone in northern Louisiana. This 15,000 acre reservoir boasts a large population of white crappie in the two to two and a half pound range. There is also black crappie in Lake Darbone. This lake is absolutely unbelievable as far as numbers of fish. And the size, I mean, the size is really good. I mean, anywhere in the country, a fish of that size is, is awesome. The American Crappie Trail is awesome. You know, we've been needing something for a while uh, to kind of take crappie fishing up a notch. And, uh, it takes somebody like Matt to just thrust it on people, if you will. You know, here, here it is, here's how they do it in the bass world, here's why we're doing it. Get on board. It's, it's really been awesome, but the weigh-ins are unbelievable. I mean, the live feed looks like a television show. The transparency, always something we love, the boat check. Lake Darbone produced some big crappie on day one. As the weather warmed, the afternoon bite gained momentum. That is what we're out here looking for, right there. That's a, that's a female that's laid out. 
still a good fish. Oh, chrome and blue, strike king. And that's what we're after. But we're after her mama. When the teams brought their fish to the scales, the weights were impressive. The team of Wes Barmore and Chad Theodos set the bar high with their seven fish limit. 12.58, that puts you right up there. You just bumped the last one off. I thought he had him big and he went again. Barmore and Theodos were leading until Tim Blackley and Jackie Van Cleve brought their seven fish limit to the scales. I think you're doing just fine. Check this out. 13, 15, that's a, that's a solid, solid strength. That's right, there you hate Now come on back here, get on back here. Blackley and Van Cleve led the pack on day one by less than a pound. The top 20 teams were within two pounds of the lead, setting up a shootout on the final day of the American Crappie Trail on Lake Darbone, Louisiana. Lucas Oil Synthetic Blend 2-Cycle Outboard Engine Oil will not only produce a level of confidence with each trip to the lake, but also provide trust backed by rigorous testing on the track as well as on the water. Lucas Synthetic Blend 2-Cycle Oil has an extensive additive package that will provide clean burning, smooth running, and maximum performance stability to any outboard on the market today. Lucas Synthetic Blend 2-Cycle Oil will not void your manufacturer's warranty. Protect your investment with Lucas Marine Products. Lucas Oil, it works. More than a century ago, General Tire was born, right here in America. Since then, we've made a name for ourselves by making tires you can depend on. Tires built to handle any road this country can throw at them, and relied on by every kind of driver. So you know that no matter where life takes you, with General Tire, anywhere is possible. Clean up your toughest messes super easy, super fast. Only Super Clean is formulated to do the work for you. Just spray it on and watch the grease and grime wash away. Super Clean is the only cleaner degreaser that is scientifically formulated to kick any mess to the curb. So you can move on to more important things. For all of your greasiest, grimiest, toughest tasks around the house, shop, or garage, Super Clean gets the job done. Super Clean, super easy, super fast. B&M Poles. The number one crappie pole company in the world. Whether you're jigging, trolling, pulling, or pushing, B&M has your pole. Third generation family company with over 70 years experience. Home to the Bucks Graphite Jig Poles. The first and best selling graphite jig pole in the U.S. for over 35 years. B&M Poles, official pole of the American Crappie Trail. The American Crappie Trail is brought to you by Lucas Oil Marine Products. Made in America, sold to the world. By Ranger Boats, driven to dominate. Super clean, super easy, super fast, super clean. By General Tire, anywhere is possible. And by these other proud sponsors. Day two on Lake Darbone dawned clear and calm. Well, we're gonna hook up that boat, take it home, put it in my yard, put a far sale sign on it. I don't care if the chicken's full of hats <laughs> on it. Game time, seven o'clock. Game on. The game begins. Fish on, fish on. Day one leaders Blackley and Van Cleve saw early action, but nothing of any size. Wes Barmore and Mark Theodos had only a half a pound to make up on Blackley and Van Cleve. Just minutes into day two, the deficit was erased. First fish of the morning was a good start. As the sun gained elevation, the bite started to pick up. Now that there is what we're looking for. Just a little bit bigger. Sixth place contenders Ken Myers and Mark good Taylor one, good one, mounted good a comeback. Good one, good one, good one, good one. Woo! Midway through championship day on Lake Darbone, and less than two pounds separated the top 20 teams. Big crappie were on the bite. Tied for seventh after day one, the team of Alex Rood and Josh Gowan continued to add to their day two limit. Championship Sunday on Lake Darbone did not disappoint. Surging from the middle of the pack 
was the team of Robinson and Turner. 1287, you're our new leader at 2364. Seventh after day one, Josh Gowan and Alex Rude brought a big bag to the scales. 1216, we got some new leaders. Congratulations, Josh, Alex. The last to step to the scales were seasoned veterans Tim Blackley and Jackie Van Cleve. It's going to be a close one. 1076, Gowan and Rude, you guys are our Lake Darbone champions. You want to talk about a close one, Tim? Josh Gowan and Alex Rude held off the pack to win the American Crappie Trail Tournament on Lake Darbone, presented by Rockport Rattler. Stop number three for the inaugural season of the American Crappie Trail was on beautiful Kentucky Lake. That's a real nice fish. But our teams found the water level up six feet with more threatening storms on the way. We ain't gonna fish in the light. I don't mind fishing in the rain. Fishing was slow on day one with the water levels dropping six to eight inches a day and a crappie in a post spawn pattern. We expect it to be tough. It's been tough so far, but we're not out of it for sure. We got a long ways to go. But some of our teams were able to break the code. There's number two for now, anyway. Got one. Not a, not a big, big fish. Might help us out a little bit. As the afternoon progressed, scattered storms threatened the field. We set through some pretty fierce lightning. You, I touched the pole racks at one point, and, and it sparked off my finger. It, it was dangerous. Electricity in there, for sure. At the end of the day, Mother Nature was gracious to our teams. While a short rain provided a challenge, the predicted high winds never materialized, promising the potential of big weights. The Rockport Rattlers Slab of the Day honors was split between the team of Turner and Turner and our fourth place team of Caps and Coleman. As our teams continued to cross the scales, Mark Williams and Trent Jones took an early lead that looked to be insurmountable. Look out, this is the way to start out today. 1088, our new leader right now. That's how we do it, guys. But then the team of Tony Hughes and Bart Gillen stepped to the scales. Looks like a pretty good sack there, doesn't Tony? It's pretty good today. You're not kidding. I think we got a new leader right here. 1123, you're right up at the top. Hughes and Gillen jumped into the top slot with Williams and Jones right behind. Our day one top 10 was stacked, setting the stage for the exciting conclusion of the American Crappie Trail from Kentucky Lake. Martin Metal, the specialists for your post frame or stud frame structure. Whether your project is agricultural or residential, we are the one-stop shop for your building needs with the goal to always provide quality products at competitive prices. With great service, Martin Metal is more than metal. We have our own trust plant for your trust needs. Our lumber yard has the highest grade of lumber available in the area, and our window and door options are as diverse as the buildings we supply for. Martin Metal, where our motto has always been, working hard for your success. put the Rockport Rattler to a real test. Two champion anglers using four rods with the competition jigs against four rods using the Rockport Rattler. The result, the Rockport Rattler outfished the competition 10 to 1. Rockport Rattler, great head. His patented rattling jig contains a rattling chamber in the body of the jig. The rattle is amplified by using water as a conductor. Rockport Rattler. Making fish hear it at much greater distances. Just like a dinner bell or fish. If you don't have a Rockport Rattler, you ain't catching crap. Land, water, seed, and sunshine. It's what farmers need to make things grow. At Mid-State Seed, we take pride in our partners and grow friendships too, providing quality seed farmers can count on. From quality control to packaging and shipping, Mid-State Seed works hard to distribute affordable product from America's heartland. Mid-State Seed, firmly planted in partnership. 
For over 30 years, Lucas Oil has provided the very best products for the land and sea. From this success stems another amazing product from the Lucas Marine lineup, Lucas Slick Mist Marine Speed Wax. Just spray it on and wipe it off. Lucas Marine Speed Wax will make your boat look brand new and provide great UV protection. Apply Lucas Marine Slick Mist to wet and dry surfaces in sunlight or shade. It's ideal in both fresh and salt water application and prevents hard water deposits. Protect your investment with Lucas Marine products. Lucas Oil, it works. The inaugural season of the American Crappie Trail was plagued by Mother Nature, and day two of Kentucky Lake was no exception. The threat of high winds and rain forced the fourth place team to go south, a gamble that paid off early. Leaders Tony Hughes and Bart Gillen struggled on day two, but managed to put a small limit in the boat. A, yeah, 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 yeah. A little better, a little better. Oh, I got him. <laughs> Barely. <laughs> uh, good net job, huh? I always try to keep a good net man with me. Caps and Coleman continued to put big fish in the boat throughout the day. Yep, yep. There he is. Yep, that's a monster. It's a monster. It's a monster. Yes, sir. That's hurt. Look at right there. As weigh-in approached, the skies opened up with a downpour. Kind of wet boat ride. Most spots, we're over here in the hot spot now. We're fixing to get some hot and heavy action. A little bit of rain, we copy fixing to go wild. The brief showers passed as our anglers brought their catch to the scales. Robert and Gina McCord took an early lead, jumping from 12th with a two-day total of 19.26 pounds. They held the lead until the fourth place team of Caps and Coleman stepped to the scales. It's going to take 920 to get up there. They're going to do it right here. That's going to be it, folks. Caps and Coleman took a commanding lead as day one leaders Tony Hughes and Bart Gillen approached the weigh in. Right here for Range RT 1882, guys. It's going to take 1029 to put it on scale. Let's see here. We're going to have a Kentucky Lake champion right here and a 63 Caps and Coleman win Kentucky Lake and take a significant lead in the BM Angler Team of the Year race. Stop number four on the inaugural season of the American Crappie Trail was Sardis Lake, Mississippi. A tropical depression pounded Sardis Lake with gale force winds and torrential rains on day one. 35, 40 mile an hour winds and probably rained three inches on us. We had five to eight foot waves at the other end of the lake. Projected to drop four to six inches of rain and produce up to 30 mile per hour winds, Tournament director Matt Morgan made a call for safety. A decision to delay launch until 10 a.m. was made and weigh-in was pushed back until 6 p.m. Once on the water, the teams faced head-on the challenges of fishing in inclement weather. It was brutal. I had five, six-foot swells. It was completely unfishable. We took one over the front of the boat, busted the trolling motor bracket. It didn't take us long to realize that it wasn't worth sinking the boat over, so that's when we turned around and come back down. I went all the way up to the upper end, and it, it was just unreal coming back. By midday, Tropical Depression Cindy moved north, leaving our battered field with ever-changing conditions and moving schools of fish. Despite enduring gale force winds and rain, the field returns to weigh in in high spirits and ready to weigh the fish they worked so hard for. The general tire giant of the day is brought to the scales by the team of Warren Cotton and Thomas Hill. We're gonna move right up. We have a new big fish, 260. Beautiful Sardis crappie. The team of Mike and Tony Shepard took an early lead with their seven fish limit. 886, current leader. Tony Edgar and Travis Lepley were next to weigh in. And they're going to have a good string here, folks. They're going to move right up the lead. 10, 11, first 10 pound string. The final team to the scales was the father son team of Terry and Cole Stewart. We do 10, 98. Stepping right up on top. You guys are our new leaders. 
Terry and Cole Stewart take an eight-tenths of a pound lead over the second-place team of Edgar and Lepley heading into day two. Day two on Sardis Lake brought calm winds, opening up our playing field to waters that were unreachable on day one. This is what it's going to take today. The morning bite was slow, but as the day progressed, the bite picked up. Number five, number five. Time expired on Sardis Lake as our teams returned to a waiting crowd inside Batesville Civic Center, the premier event center in northwestern Mississippi. The 12th place team of Brad Calhoun and Clay Blair shocked the crowd. Oh, look at this, folks. That's a string. 1241 on your 759. 20 pounds on the money. You are new leaders, guys. Calhoun and Blair had to withstand one last team. Day one leaders, Terry and Cole Stewart. Here on Sardis Lake is going to be. We're going to find out here real quick. Going to take 902. Here we go for the championship right here at Sardis Lake. And they're going to do it. 1048. Look at that. 2146. You guys are our showdown at Sardis Lake champions right here. Terry and Cole Stewart win the Super Clean Showdown on Sardis Lake taking home the lion's share of the $60,000 payout. From the tackle store to your truck, to your boat on the lake, back to the ramp, and all the way home. Angle Coolers have you covered. b and Poles. The number one crappie pole company in the world. Whether you're jigging, trolling, pulling, or pushing, b and has your pole. Third generation family company with over 70 years experience. Home to the Bucks Graphite Jig Poles. The first and best selling graphite jig pole in the U.S. for over 35 years. b and Poles, official pole of the American Crappie Trail. Launching a Ranger aluminum boat that's cut full of holes may sound a little crazy, but with so much closed cell foam inside, it's easy to see the added safety and stability. It's a huge confidence booster, especially with so much quality inside, along with Evernew Detect's unrivaled performance and 300 hours with no dealer scheduled maintenance. Ranger Aluminum is built to excel and priced to be yours. Power your Ranger with Evernew Detect. The outboards that are changing everything. Easy to own and fun to drive. The Evan Rudy Tech G2, now from 150 to 300 horsepower. It was just so easy to drive, not having to worry about the trim. I could just gas it and go, and that's where I fell in love with the engine. I could drive my boat literally with one finger. In terms of just convenience, easy for me, the G2 is perfect. I wanted something my wife could drive with ease. I love my G2. For details, visit evanrude.com. For over 30 years, Lucas Oil has provided the very best products for the land and sea. From this success stems another amazing product from the Lucas Marine lineup, Lucas Slick Mist Marine Speed Wax. Just spray it on and wipe it off. Lucas Marine Speed Wax will make your boat look brand new and provide great UV protection. Apply Lucas Marine Slick Mist to wet and dry surfaces in sunlight or shade. It's ideal in both fresh and saltwater application and prevents hard water deposits. Protect your investment with Lucas Marine products. Lucas Oil, it works. The American Crappie Trail is brought to you by b and Fishing, quality performance and service for over 70 years. By Mid-State Seed, firmly planted in partnership. Martin Metal, your source for quality buildings, roofing and lumber. By Evan Root, official engine of the American Crappie Trail. And by these other proud sponsors. Stop number five on the American Crappie Trail was Truman Reservoir in central Missouri. This one polling crappie mecca was in constant flux due to rains earlier in the week. Water levels had risen six feet and were now dropping eight to 10 inches a day. Day one fishing was tough, but the B&M Angler Team of the Year leaders, Ronnie Caps and Steve Coleman, brought seven fish to the scales weighing 10.57 pounds to take over third. David Cox and Steve Hockett slipped into the second slot with their 10.74 pound bag. 
but it was the local team of Jim Dant and Ron Zufall that took center stage on day one. Just check this out. See, they didn't jump up there, 1091. Right now, you guys are in the lead. Dant and Zufall take a narrow lead over the rest of the field. The top 10 is separated by less than a pound, setting up a battle for championship Saturday. Day two fishing seemed to improve with our leaders picking up where they left off. Despite Truman's reputation as a one polling lake, the floodwaters created an opportunity for the spider riggers to do well. Lots of fish were caught on day two and the scales proved it. Making the Evan Root hard charge of the day is the team of Jeff Lewis and Matt Beckman. Lewis and Beckman jumped from 16th to take a commanding lead and the hot seat. Still standing after a barrage of teams, Lewis and Beckman faced one last team. Our day one leaders, Jim Dant and Don Zufall. Don Zufall, 1091 yesterday, need 954 today. Matt says it's gonna be really close. Here we go guys, 905, not enough to do it. Matt Beckman, you guys are our Truman Lake champions right here. Lewis and Beckman hold off the field to win the American Crappie Trail on Truman Lake and take home a fully rigged Ranger RT-188C. The last stop on the American Crappie Trail was the Lucas Oil National Championship from Lake of the Ozarks. Not only was the National Championship title on the line, but the B&M Angler Team of the Year honors was up for grabs. I'm gonna go down and swing it, buddy. True to form, Mother Nature threw our teams a challenge on day one. A thick fog blanketed most of the lake, limiting the movement of our teams. What a fish, what a fish, what a fish. As the day progressed, the fog lifted and the fishing picked up. Seven of these, baby. By the time our teams returned away in, Lake of the Ozarks had given up a limit to every team. The father-son team of Charlie and Travis Bunting took a three-tenths of a pound lead over the husband-wife team of Paul and Elizabeth Turner. Wes Cooper and Keith Muller slipped into the third slot with our B&M Angler Team of the Year leaders, Ronnie Capps and Steve Coleman, anchored at fourth. We had our, our worst day, I feel like, today, so look out tomorrow, man. Uh, man, that's good, isn't it? Our teams pulled out all the stops on day two. Go. Over $124,000 was on the line, making each bite critical. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. <laughs> As time expired, rumors of a shakeup were heard. And that's exactly what happened when the 20th place team of Dan Porter and Damon Thompson stepped to the scales. 881 is going to put you up two day total, 1599, share the 16 pounds, but good enough to put you in the lead right now. The lead changed hands four more times before our day one leaders, Charlie and Travis Bunting, stepped to the scales. Travis Bunting need A-10 to move into the national champion. Here we go, first time. I think it's going to get there. 1759, Charles Bunting, Travis Bunting. Our two Charlie and Travis Bunting become the first ever Lucas Oil national champion for the American Crappie Trail. They took home over $42,000 in cash and prizes for their two-day effort. Ronnie Capps and Steve Coleman were crowned B&M Angler Team of the Year for the inaugural season of the American Crappie Trail.